Welcome back to week three of All In. So I'm starting this week on the bike. Yes, my goal is that sub 15 minute 5K, but I've also got a half Ironman at the beginning of August. It's the inaugural Swansea Half Ironman and my first triathlon ever. Um, so I need to do a bit of training. I'm just doing it for a bit of a fun and a bit of a challenge, but I don't want to embarrass myself either. So I'm gonna do a couple of hours on the bike now. I've done loads of cycling uh, as cross training while I was injured, so I've got used to the bike. I do need to get in the pool and out in the water to improve my swimming. But yeah, it'll be a bit of fun. And also I'm hoping that all the cross training will just add to my training. Getting on the bike or in the pool is just a great aerobic stimulus whilst not having the pounding that running has. So a couple of hours on the bike instead of my normal morning run uh, will help build my aerobic fitness and is a bit of fun and prepare me for the half Ironman. So let's get on Zwift and bank a couple of hours. So just come outside to get some fresh air because on the turbo it was a sweaty business. I did, I didn't do two hours in the end. I did an hour and 36 minutes. I stopped at 60 kilometers. Um, I got further than I thought I was gonna do because I took a flatter route on Zwift. Uh, normally when I do a hilly route, I wouldn't have covered that much distance. But yeah, happy with that. Average power, 223 watts. I love working off power and on race day, I'll be using power to guide my effort. So getting on the bike and using Zwift was so helpful during my injury. Uh, it gave me an outlet um, for exercise uh, to keep my fitness ticking over, but more than anything, it was like a mental outlet. I find that exercise really helps with my mental health, so having something I could do and ended up enjoying um, was just really useful uh, for my headspace, basically. And now I'm gonna be using it as cross-training and also because of the Ironman, so hopefully I'll be able to build a really strong aerobic base and also have the strength to do okay in the Ironman. I'm not really fussed how, how I do. I just want to be part of the event. I've always wanted to do a triathlon. And when Half Iron came to Swansea, my hometown, um, I just had to, had to get involved. Uh, massive FOMO and didn't want to miss out. So yeah, looking forward to the event. I've wrecked the course and it's a really hilly tough course, but some beautiful scenery around the Gower. So I'm really looking forward to the, the ride actually. I just need to uh, work on my swim and hopefully then I'll be strong enough in the run to have a, a good finish to the event. Uh, yeah, anyway, I need to get some food on board and recover. It's threshold, I'm gonna do five times a mile again. Same session as last week. You may be thinking, why is he doing the same session again? Well, I'm looking for the same training effect why overcomplicate things? Do the same session. I know roughly the pace that I'm going to be hitting. I know how to control it. So yeah, just tick it off. Um, keep things simple. And uh, hopefully um, keep on progressing each week. About 5.50 for the first one. Quicker than last week, but there is a bit of an effect. I'm lapping the lake. GPS will always be a bit kinder. But yeah, feeling pretty good. Done. A bit warm, but really enjoying it. Feeling, feeling a good rhythm. Splits are definitely faster than Saturday splits from last week, um, but I expect that, especially around the lake. Um, maybe got a little bit carried away, not too bad, but. Probably worked a little bit harder in the later reps than I should have. Uh, heart rate drift probably a little bit because of the heat and I should have just backed off. But still pretty controlled. But as I go forward and do more threshold sessions, I really want to dial in with the control. I've got a lactate meter, a portable one, which I'll be using. I just need to get some more strips ordered because I've flown through those on the bike, um, learning all my lactate levels on the bike. So now I want to use those in my running as well. Six miles easy on the trails, just keeping it really nice and slow. As I've said on previous episodes, it's important for me to just reduce the stress of the run by taking it nice and easy. And on the trails, you're not even tempted to go fast. So the Women's Tour of Britain is passing through the Forest of Dean today. So we've come out to watch some of the action. Uh, we've come to one of the hills where there's going to be a Queen of the Mountain uh, bit where they can get points. And yeah, we're really excited. Harry's actually fallen asleep, so Harry's not that excited. Um, but we're going to try and get a good spot and watch them as they come by. Come, 
as they come by can't speak come by is a different thing <laughs> you are <laughs> you are I said come by is a different thing oh, right <laughs> so we've picked our spot a nice little steep climb for them perfect oh. are we coming? Gladys Verhulst of the Col Wahoo and uh, Rajan Marcus of Team Yumbo Visma. Those three leading riders with an advantage of 52 seconds, which should mean that Christine Majeris, the best place of those three, is the current race leader on the road. That was so cool. What do you think, Harry? Yeah. Did you enjoy that? You see the bikes? Okay. Yeah, the bikes. There's another bike. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was really cool. Um, but it comes and goes so quick. I kind of want to watch more of the action, but you're never going to get ahead and see any more now. So I didn't end up getting out for my double yesterday, but that's okay. Um, still building back. And now it's Thursday, down the lake again, threshold session. This one is 10 times three minutes off a 60 second jog. And a little bit faster than the five minutes, but still very controlled. You can go a little bit quicker because you're running for less duration with the same recovery. It still needs to be really controlled. So I haven't got my lactate monitor with me, but hopefully I can gauge it. It's one of my favourite sessions actually, I love this one because I feel like you can run not fast but fairly fast and controlled, it just feels great. I love it! Averaging about 5.33, feeling good. It's definitely faster than uh, Tuesdays but with the recoveries uh, I'm feeling okay. Feeling controlled. Top top! It's quite muggy out here and I thought I'd give the geese a show but yeah. Uh, get my way through it. It's nice doing these sorts of sessions because they're so controlled that you know you can finish them, you know you're not going to blow up, you just got to take them off and stay patient. Just the medals left, bronze, silver, gold, let's go! One left, all done. Just a cool down to go. I hate cooling down. I quite enjoy it when you're in a group, but on your own it's so dull and the work's done and cool down the boring. But, well, I say they're necessary, they're probably necessary. I don't see the Kenyans doing them, and they're getting on okay. But uh, I always feel better after them, so I'll do it anyway. What I didn't say before that run is how much I needed that run. You know when you've got loads of like life's micro stresses starting to pile up, and uh, everything's getting on top of you a little bit, and somehow a run just helps and makes you feel a lot better, more positive, proactive so yeah needed that happy it's done good session and good for the mental health as well so for my second run of the day i'm jumping on the treadmill i'm going to do a bit of a progression but also try and keep it quite controlled too uh, i love the treadmill because you can compare against other runs really easily it's a controlled environment um, it's a bit softer surface as well so it doesn't batter my body and it's just a great way to double one outdoors one one on the treadmill and uh, yeah, I can rack up the miles quite nicely um, using this tool. Tool, just the treadmill. Anyway, let's get on with it. Oh, that was the sweat fest. 8K, um, I can't even remember what I did. A warm up and then I went 16, 17, 18 kilometers an hour. Then I jogged a lap, a virtual lap. Look at the steam. And then went 16, 17, 18K an hour again. Um, I don't know what duration, I just lapped on my watch, so I'll find out. But yeah, uh, five miles done, a bunch of faster work, but nothing to absolutely trash me, just controlled faster running, bit of a sweat fest, 
and a really nice double bank today. I've just been to the tip, which can mean only one thing. I'm gonna do the nine mile loop because it's close. Nine mile loop, love it here. Ah, bank in the miles. Point nine miles, eight something a mile. Such a lovely day to be out on the trails in the sunshine. Feel very lucky, and I can feel fitness starting to creep back in. Feeling good. I just need to stay patient and just keep ticking things off. I've got an exciting weekend ahead. Tomorrow I've got a hill session, which I'm looking forward to. Haven't done hills in ages as a session, and then Sunday it's Swansea Half. And no, I'm not racing it. Well, I am, but not racing, racing. I'll be running it with Kelly. Kelly is in great shape. Weather conditions don't look amazing, but I'm looking forward to, uh, I say pacing, but just running it with a help and a, with motivation, I don't know. Just, yeah, let's call it pacing. Um, filming some stuff for her, or for her channel. And yeah, Swansea House, such an amazing event. And I'm from Swansea and I'm looking forward to going back, seeing family seeing friends and running Swansea Half. Looking forward to it. And that will uh, cap off my week. But anyway, nine miles on the trails. Well, nearly nine miles, just done. So I'm gonna speak some truth now. I feel awful. I've only got myself to blame. Last night, I basically devoured pretty much a whole chocolate fudge cake with the thick double cream. And I've woken up and my stomach feels in bits, feels so unsettled. And I've got a session. And I, you know, like I said, it's myself to blame. And I do this a lot. I binge eat in the evenings. I can eat fairly well during the days and then I just devour a load of shit in the evenings and wake up feeling rough. So I'm gonna give the session a go. Um, it's my only opportunity to get it done. But uh, yeah, don't feel so great. And this is the reality of running and training. There's lots of different aspects to it. And if you mess up the nutrition, the day before a session, it can impact it. Um, I'll do a, a vlog on what I eat and my struggles and challenges with food as well another time. But right now, I need to get this session done and stop feeling sorry for myself. But I want this vlog to be the ups and the downs and the real bits and the highs, the lows, everything. So this isn't a low as such, but it's just me being truthful and real that I feel like it's going into this session and it's myself to blame. And... Uh, well, it's the chocolate fudge cake to blame. It shouldn't be so damn delicious. I'm burping up a lot of gas. So I'm not sure how this is gonna go. So that's the warm up done, two miles. Um, not feeling great still, burping up loads of gas, but give it a shot. I warmed up in the Hoka Clifton 8 and I'll put the Vaporfly on now for the faster work. Today's session is a shorter session, but it's my fast one. So I'm gonna be working at faster paces and I'm working a lot harder than the controlled threshold that I've been doing in the week. So I'll start with two times a K, pretty hard. No idea what pace it'll be. We've done to feel and we'll just see what I get with two minute jog recoveries between each. And then I'll jog over to a hill. There's a lovely hill over there, like a trail hill. And I will do 10 times 30 seconds I say sprints, but like strong, hard running up a hill and then jog back down and wait until about 60, 70 seconds recovery in total. And then, yeah, repeat that nine times, so 10 in total. Uh, yeah, like I said, less control in this session. Need to do some faster work if I'm gonna break 15 for 5K. Today could be a bit of an eye opener to see how far away I actually am. But you've got to start somewhere, put the work in and see where it goes from there. I'm talking really quickly, I don't know why. Right, two times a K done and that was absolutely savage. Oh, really happy with the splits though. One slightly downhill, I think at 2.57 and the one coming back, 3.02. So I averaged about three minutes per K, quicker than I thought. Good work, now let's hit the hills. A hill never looks like a hill on camera. But yeah, 
a slight gradient going up here, nothing too steep. I don't want it to affect my biomechanics too much. I just want to add some resistance to the sprints, strong running sprints, you know what I mean. Six done, I feel sick. I hate hills. Six done. Seven done, medal time, come on! One left, that's so tough. But when I was injured, I would have killed to do a hill session. You gotta remember that. Running on the sidelines, you don't get the opportunity to do this. One more, let's go. Sprinting hurts so much, so much. Uh, I'm just visualizing someone passing me in the last 100 meters. What have you got left? What can you give to stop them getting past? Have you got one more kick? Is there something inside you don't know about? There's only one way to know and it's to find out. Just to try and turn those legs over quicker again. Ah, oh, hated that but loved it too. Woo. Short cool down home. Make my way to Swansea, got Swansea half in the morning. Ah. So we're in the car and we're off to Swansea, aren't we Harry? Yes? To see family and to race, yes? I don't think he knows what's happening. He, we had to wake him up from his nap to put him in the car. I was hoping he would nap in the car, so timings aren't so great. Kelly's grabbing coffee, we just got petrol. Let's head to Swansea. I hate it when I do that. Why do I do that silly voice? So, excuse Austin Powers there, I don't know if you heard <laughs> Move me, bye bye. Honestly. <laughs> Go away. Move me. Start again. Anyway, it is the eve before the half marathon. <laughs> Honestly, can't get the stuff. Eve before half marathon, really excited for tomorrow. Um, just had some knocky and some lovely sea views. Um, feeling very chilled, now to go back and get an early night. I will talk more in the morning about what my goals are because my battery's about to die and I'm really cold now. But, um... So the next 12 hours didn't pan out the way we expected. Kelly got ill in the night. I think it started about 12. She was basically up all night being sick. I felt awful for her because this race meant quite a lot to her. Um, it was an opportunity for Harry to be there supporting, I was going to be pacing and the week had a lot of significance as well so I was gutted that she didn't get to race, she was in great shape, it was a shame but these things happen so we just have to live with it and move on. Um, for my week it meant that I didn't get that 13 miles done so my weekly mileage was a little bit down, didn't get the long run I was expecting to get done but that's life and that's uh, just the way it was and I'm just glad Kelly's okay now. Um, it was just one of those annoying things. So yeah, 47 miles done for the week, a really good week, um, so really good sessions in there. And we continue to build as we chase that sub 15 minute 5k.